Let's learn how to interpret any given bar graph or bar diagram. This is the bar graph which shows us the information of traffic at any given traffic signal. On the horizontal line, we have time intervals. The time intervals start from between 4 to 5 a.m., then 5 to 6 a.m., then 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, and 10 to 11 a.m. So these are the time intervals that have been plotted on the horizontal line. On the vertical line, we have number of vehicles starting from 100, then 200, then all the way up to 800. So these are the numbers that are representing number of vehicles. So overall at a traffic signal, we have certain traffic and for each intervals, we have certain bar graph and then we have to tell these you know, answers of these questions. The first one is tell the scale. If this is a graph and if this is a plot on the vertical line, these are the numbers, then can you tell the scale? Now you know that the scale is what is actually the unit length, right? On the vertical line or the horizontal line. So in this case, these are the values of the vehicles and we have to tell the scale. So if you can see here, we start from zero, that is at this point. After zero, we have 100, then 200, then 300, and 400. Now, if you take any two, you know, plots of the numbers, any two numbers, the initial number and then the next number, the difference between the two numbers is what? Is always 100. 200 minus 100 is what? 100. 300 minus 200 is what? 100. 400 minus 300 is what? 100. Therefore, each unit length is of what? 100 vehicles because why these are the number of vehicles so each unit length that is a scale is of 100 vehicles vehicles so this is our scale now the first question is time interval having minimum traffic which time interval has a minimum traffic at that given traffic signal if you look at the height of each bars you can clearly see that this bar that is between 10 to 11 am between this time interval has the lowest height and you can see that this is at the level of 100 it comes against the number of the height of this bar comes against the number 100 so 100 is 100 vehicles is the num traffic at uh, between 10 to 11 am so this is a time interval having the minimum traffic then you'll be asked about the maximum traffic now for the maximum traffic you have to look at the bar which has the maximum height in this case you can clearly see that the this bar and this bar these two bars have the same height and they come against the number 800 so 800 is the maximum traffic and that is between two time intervals one is 7 to 8 am and then between 8 to 9 am so we are done with this, we are done with this. Then what is the traffic? What is the traffic between 4 to 5 a.m.? So 4 to 5 a.m. time interval is this one. And you can clearly see that the traffic at this time interval is what? 200, right? It's 200. Having second maximum traffic. So if this is a bar, these two bars are representing the maximum traffic, which bar is having the next maximum height, of course, this one right so this is between time interval 9 to 10 a.m and you can see that it's at the 600 so 600 vehicles number of vehicles are 600 in between 9 to 10 a.m so having second maximum traffic is the time interval 9 to 10 a.m let's look for this one this is a bar graph where you have been you know sh you are being shown the population that is in course of some states of any country a b c d e are the states of any country and these this number these numbers represent the population and in crores right not in lakhs not in thousands but in crores so 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 the population has been plotted on the horizontal line and on the vertical line we have states therefore our bar is horizontally uh, you know projected projected if someone asks you that what's the scale of this graph then of course we are starting from zero so zero to ten then ten to twenty then twenty to thirty then thirty to forty of course each unit length is of what ten crores because this is ten crore this is twenty crore this is thirty crore so each unit length is what ten crore 
that is the scale of our graph. The first question is the lowest population, which state has the lowest population? So check for the graph which has the lowest height, so minimum height, sorry, uh, you know, which is extended to a minimum length, which has the minimum length, this bar has the minimum length, and what's the value? 10 crores. So lowest population is of the state C, and the population is 10 crore. Highest population, so which has which bar has the longest length? This bar has the longest length or the largest length. Which one? State B. What's the population? 80 crore. So we are done with this. We are done with this. Which state has a 60 crore population? So 60 is here. You can clearly see that against the 60, we have what? This bar that is for the D state. So state D has 60 crore population. States which have which have 30 crore population. So 30 crore is here. And the A is at this level. And you can see that this is at the same level. Sorry, has the same length of the uh, bar. So state A and state E are the two states which have 30 crore population. Why? Because the length which is the length of the bar for this state and for this state is the same and both are against this 30 number that is 30 crore. So we are done with all this, all these questions. So this is the way in which we interpret any graph or any bar graph.